Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. A lot of you will be very pleased today. I finally upgraded my phone. It only took five years, so the camera quality should be better, or at least you'd hope it to be. I've jumped from an iPhone 8 up into an iPhone 14 Plus. Doesn't really mean much to me. I'm a bit of a technophobe. But yes, let's get into the sovereigns. There is a lot of sovereigns to go through. I bought three shields. Oh, I'm still waiting for the gentleman to get back to me, actually. I need to pay him. As soon as he gives me the get-go, I will pay him. And I would have bought them. So an 1869. This is a nice coin. You know, typically coins like this, I'll pay £20 over spot. Pay 20 try and sell for 50 over, including postage. Will these sell? I'm probably going to try and put these in the reserve. Try being the keyword. This is an 1843. Don't see many from this decade. To the average person, this would be knackered. I think that would be the correct terminology, but I actually think there's something quite romantic about this period with the shields. I certainly don't have an issue buying such coins and paying a slight premium on them. It's nice to get them in. And last of the shields. This is another 69. So in terms of mintages, so you can see like when I'm looking to buy shields actually, in terms of the mintages, sorry, I was saying, the they're relatively high. They would have gone through multiple wars. A lot of them would have been melted down. But I always look at the hairline, the top coins, the hairline's intact. The fields don't look great. These are not gradable examples, but nonetheless, they're not bad coins. I also look at the shield, the lines in the shield, and the tips of the coat of arms. That's where you're going to win it in the margins. So yeah, let's go through the other coins. I've got a 1918. Nice luster on that. 1912. This camera really picks up a lot more than I can see with my eye, that's for sure. It'll probably helped me with my job, to be honest. I've been putting it off for a long time, getting a new phone. And essentially, I had to because it was just done for. It, there was nothing I could do with it. Nice coin. Um, and then the gentleman who sent those coins in he also sent in some halves these are just bullion like bullion coins as you know i pay spot for it's not a problem coins in coins out so there was another gentleman he ended up sending in a fair amount of coins it was i think it was 17 sovereigns or something like that and there was a graded coin as well i'll leave that to last and there was this as well. So he told me he paid 440. I said to him, I'll pay him spot. If there's more in it, I'll pay him more on the next one because we're working through an order or we're working through his stack. I don't really know much about this. I'm going to try and get 440, 450 out of it. You know, I'll break bread at the middle ground. That's not a problem. We shall see. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Not had it before. We shall see on that one. And then there was a load of sovereigns. Loads and loads of sovereigns. There was Jubilee Sovereign. This one's got all sorts of issues. This will just be going for bullion, sadly. I think that's initially where someone's got it new from a tube and they've stuck it in a cap and it's left the residue marks. See it? It probably can be cleaned. I don't clean my coins personally. I know other dealers do. It comes in how it is. It goes out how it is. The only time I have cleaned my coins, actually, and this will sound really weird to some people, so I get pre-47 in and it's just really dirty. It's more just to clean it up rather than to make the coin look better. It's because I hate dealing. I hate having that grime on my hands. 
I think that says more about me than anything. Um, there were some young heads. These are just paid spot on. They're not going for the premiums they were. Will I try and get more premium on them? I'll try, I can't see it at the moment. They don't sell, I might stick them in the reserve with the shields if I can afford to keep them. It's been quite a good month for me, even with the one-off costs. I, I think I had about 1,200 pound of one-off costs. I would have hit a 6K month had it not been for those costs. I did have those costs, that is what it is. It's been a solid start and I, I feel like I've done it prudently as well. I haven't half killed myself to do it. I've, I've worked smarter in terms of selling down some of the reserves that I no longer wish to have. That's going to be a key theme over the next few months. There's probably going to be a lot of easy wins for me from stuff I've bought a year ago or two years ago. Nice coin, 1919. Is that Perth? Yeah. I don't think there's anything special about these ones. 23, that's a perf. I actually got my eyes tested recently because I couldn't read the uh, the mint marks. I was having a really big issue with the mint marks. Um, it turns out my eyesight's fine. I think it's just not as eagle-eyed as it used to be. You used to be able to see it, no problem. 1912. So these are all around the same decade, same era. Nice coins. You see a lot of these in really good condition, but they're not really worth anything more. Oh, unless it's a proof. 911 proof, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Nice bullion. That's that's what they are. I don't attach a premium to them. 1958. Let's take this out. Let's see, because this should be a higher grade. I want to see how the camera resolution deals with it. Let's put it next to a shield. Okay. Let's increase the magnification. Boys in her toys, huh? definitely picks it up it's far superior to the iPhone 8 I had that's for sure yeah definitely it's not to take away from this coin it's still a lovely coin it's what 60 80 180 years old crazy if I look that good at 180 I'm I'm a I'm in a great mood so there's that one Sixty-five. I was talking to the grader about these coins. I think the price. Is, I think it's a. It's a bit of an issue with the pricing at the moment. I feel like it's in bubble territory. There's going to be a lot of these coins coming back from grading that will displace the current numbers. Shame about the cheek. I'm not an expert grader, as you guys know. I feel like I know my way around, but it's constantly a learning process for me. I know what to look out for. I know where I should be kind of focusing in terms of grading, but I couldn't give you precise grades. Just a million, just a bullion sovereign, modern bullion sovereign. Again. These are quite high mintage if memory serves. 2013. And last but not least, there was this. 2012 MS66 DPL. I personally feel this shouldn't have been graded. Is there a slight premium on it? Yes, I paid spot on it. Um, 
but it, I wouldn't have paid to get this graded, no. They're not a rare coin. Um, I think the price is probably a bit ahead of where it should be as well. That looks really good like that, look at that. I think the pricing is ahead of where it should be in terms of how many were minted. I think it's like a 450,000 minted coin. They're not rare coins and they do crop up. Personally, if I was buying, like these shouldn't be the same price as a 2002 or a 2005 just for mintage reasons and also they were, as much as they were bought they were bought because it was a special occasion more so than because of the design the design has not gone down well but yeah that's the haul for today i hope you've enjoyed the new camera it's been a bit of a treat for me as well i'm gonna have to get used to it i'm not used to having modern things <laughs> new things typically i i wait till things die I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.